Oh, we're back in Tibet. He has nothing new to say. Okay, so we're going to put the next piece of the road on there. Yes? Yeah, yes. It looks like there are many more pieces that need to be put on there. The pieces that you get from each world don't actually like take you to a new place. So, you just need them to finish. And the reason I haven't put them in yet is if you don't put them in a specific order, it makes a later puzzle really hard. Ah. <clears throat> ah, spiritual journey. This is the yeah. weirdest spiritual... Like, I've heard people talk about spiritual journeys. This is not what they meant. Is this... Oh, okay, so we're on our way to China. Ah, nice! Them cloth physics, though. <laughs> okay, so I hope you like the soundtrack. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, and we can't leave because there is a demon clawed demon there. <clears throat> ah! Ah! Please tell me those gong sounds are not going to be present the entire time. No, just in this area. There's uh, ten minutes of gongs. They're so jarring. <laughs> you get used to them. Much like you get used to the Mayan uh, weeping. Uh, Alright, so what's our goal now that we're here in China? Find out how we can get rid of the demon in front of the gate. Are you well, old master? Oh, 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 oh yes, very well. I like well. how there's still the snoring sound as he's talking. May I also ask your name, uh. master? Certainly. <laughs> I am Wu Dao Shi. I am Wei What Yu is Lan, sound recording? Master, a government official. I have come from Fang. Is our where I had the voice honor of the same the in every archives. character that we've and possessed? Where are you yes. going now, Dr. Wei? To a new post? Yes, to the you see the spirit of seeks Yang, vocal cords and that's to take song. charge of the civil register. First though, you must get You might the think other people would realize that our you sound like What can you tell a Tibetan guy? Shadow, the like a, guy. an American pretending to be Tibetan. Uh, well, you're yeah. right in my useless opinion to call it a shadow. Maybe it just automatically translates and it's it's one of those things that they just haven't explained. There's many things in this game they haven't adequately explained. Well, yeah, but I mean, we can give some undue credit, right? I like, right? yeah, I like this. I like this guy that I'm about to talk to around the side. He just sits there, uh, wringing his hands, and doesn't actually do anything for the entire game. <laughs> like his entire point is to be talked at and look sad. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wei Yulan. Yes, you are the visiting official. Our humble sanctuary is honored by your visit, sir. I am Sung Dao Shi. I wish I had joined my brothers and gone with the exorcists. Ex exorcists. Where have they all gone? To chase the hungry ghosts who have been wandering the region ever since this strange new star appeared in the heavens. Ah. Now our own monastery is haunted, and without our exorcists, we are helpless. Okay, I like the recurring... Theme with the, the old star man. thing. Wu Dao Shi. I hope you don't expect it to actually come to anything, though. Oh, it, it doesn't mean? actually mean anything, it's just something that they threw in <laughs> for the hell of it. Well, you see, you know it signals the, the end of something. The gateway? Forgive no. me, but I we'll get to that later. Exorcist. Still, I like that, that it's been kind of a recurring thing in all of the areas. The shadow will kill us? The star shows up and then everything goes horribly wrong in some area. Yeah. Paralyzes an old monk. Murders a bunch of <laughs> corn and <laughs> makes demons possess a, an entire country. You know, as stars do. Goth. There's like so, so many like fake doors on this stupid wall. Yeah. I was just what, going around to make sure I wasn't missing anything. What are what is our aim? Like, what are we looking for at the moment? We're seeking to get rid of the shadow in front of the gate. That's literally the entire point right now. Yeah, how do we do that? Let's talk to this guy and find out. 
You must be very concerned about the shadow that's barring the <laughs> okay. gate, Master Lo. Indeed, Dr. Wei. I have been here in the abode of the Purple Deposit many years now, and witnessed many marvels. Is that a real-time shadow thing? demon abode, is purple most deposit? unusual. Do you have any idea I, what may have mm. caused such a phenomenon? The I deposit of what? A result of that new stone, Die? A celestial body that shines both day and night is a wonder of great portent. It has caused much imbalance. The entire region is overrun with unhappy ghosts and escaped demons. They're so malcontent. Master Lo, I imagine Got the claws that out and Abbott, you are eager to I think it says the same question twice because of different uh Thank you, Dr. Wei, for reminding me of my responsibility. Uh. Alas, both of our exorcists are <laughs> wandering the countryside, chasing hungry ghosts. So we must wait for their return? That sounded like a very May condescending answer be? there. I have no way of telling. It is very likely that we well, shall... You are just an idiot uh, city official. Our yeah. water yeah. sea comes from the well outside the gate. I can't help feeling there must be something we can do. While I appreciate your hospitality... The sub-prefect is expecting me in Li Yang, where I am to oversee the civil register. Ah, uh, yes. It wouldn't do for an important official to neglect his duties to the emperor. I suppose we could ask Grand Master Tan Yun to help. Tan Yun? I don't believe I've met him. No. He is the finest exorcist ever to have dwelt here in the abode of the Purple Deposit. If anyone can yeah, witness that name a is, shadow um, demon, it is surely Tan Yun. That's strange. Then may I suggest you ask him to? An excellent idea, Dr. Wei. There is a small difficulty. Master Tan hasn't been seen <laughs> for 317 years. Small difficulty? Oh, so oh dear. I like how we just say, oh. And asked for advice? Oh. I remind you that, that sounds you like have a problem. No exorcist in the monastery, Master Lo. How do you intend to conjure up his spirit? I did not say Tan Yun was dead, Doctor. He attained <laughs> He's only 400 years old. Years ago, uh. To devout practice of the alchemical disciplines. I see. And how is he to be reached? I mean, there's no reason to to doubt I that since we're a body hopping. Well. But I Soul wasn't aware that spirit anyone else thing. Could Who's already yeah. been to the Mayan land of the dead and yeah. talked to a blackbird man in Ireland. Yeah, so I mean, it, 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 it makes risk, relative sense. The years, a number have set out to yeah, this game has a way of dulling your uh, of BS meters. You <laughs> Alas, almost everyone is out assisting the exorcists. Of those left, Sung is too frightened. Chen does not frighten both the ancient masters. I myself must remain to oversee the monastery. That's why he's hiding by that uh, little wall there. Oh, Chen does not think about the ancient masters. Why I love Chen. Why? We'll see him for a whole like. He's the master of directions. Tan we'll see Yun Chen like for five seconds. Way to be followed by any who wish to visit him. The master of directions is there to send the traveler on his way, but may not himself follow the path. If I understand you, Master Lo, I am the one who must find Tan. <laughs> because I am the chosen Only one. Only if you cling to life, Dr. Wei. We cling to life, and then we're the chosen one. Therefore, we must go find an immortal man hidden for 300 and some years in a tiny monastery. The foreshadowing in that was the word tiny, by the way. Oh, was it? So, uh, what is the, uh... What, what exactly are we looking for here? Well, I'm just exploring the monastery because it's small first. And then nice. we'll do the... Uh, Matt will use Old Man Master of Directions to get us on the direction to uh, Tan Yun. And it's... Bonsai trees! Bonsai trees! Hi there! Here's Chen. I love Chen. You see, this is all he does. Is uh, when you talk to him, which I eventually shall. He only does one thing, and there you go. he just quotes the old masters. So he's sitting there meditating. You talk Heaven to him. Heaven lowers what is high and raises what is low. Yeah. Uh. Something and nothing <laughs> produce one another. Does he start floating? Nothing, which can be named when you talk to him. The true. Because I notice his leg is still there in the shot. He's just sitting really weird. Presumably, like, crouched down, crawled up into his lap to talk to him. Yeah. 
But our shot of the the scene didn't change. Like he just kind of zoomed up into our point of view. Oh, well, it's 1999 or 2001 or whatever, dude. Like, what do you expect? Yeah. yeah. I should actually probably know what year this game was made. 1999. It was released in 2001 for Macintosh. Yeah, that sounds right. Oh, so you're yeah, actually... here, I found the gong piece. And see, I just didn't want to go bring this gong, so... This is what happens okay. when I bring the gong. Yeah! No, not again! <laughs> <sighs> now we have to go back. You're welcome. We didn't really move very far, though. Yeah, well... So, yeah, bring a gong, get your soul flung back to that. Do you works, have right? to, uh... Do you have to use the, like, the stick every time you want to hit the gong? Yes. Are you well, old master? Oh! Uh, oh, oh. May I also ask... Sir? His Holiness the Abbot has advised <laughs> me to consult you, Master Wu. Oh, I see. What about? His Holiness has asked me to exercise the Shadow Demon. Yeah. He mentioned an immortal, the Grand Master Tan Yun. And suggested I mean, it would have taken effort for them to him. remove that, so... Yes, I know the ritual. Meet me in the turtle chamber. <laughs> so, we might meet him in the turtle chamber. Because you might notice that we've only explored like three quarters of the monastery. Ah, There's a big room yeah. we haven't seen. Sure you wish to find We're about to get there. I have no choice, old master, if I'm to be in Liang in time to assume my new functions. It's only fair to point out that many have undertaken the journey to see the immortal, but none have returned. I, mean, I just came oh, back from Shibalba, so... However, if yeah. you're determined to reach Li Yang, Dr. Wei, then I'm sure you'll find a way back. What must I do, Master Wu? <laughs> First, the four directions must he be... He sounded so resigned to his fate there. You what must I do? To be fair, Tiger. wouldn't you be? You will need these At, at this objects. point, yeah. What? So he gave me a turtle and a frame. And then teleported. And then teleported. Tell me about the house of the tiger, old master. Once he has established the four directions, the turtle leaves the lake and travels the path to the house of the tiger. Tell me when you are ready to undertake the journey. Well, ready as I'll ever be. So you put the turtle there, and oh, you see, you, this is, there's like a river, a uh, pagoda, and a mountain in various permutations, and you have to figure out which permutation is which. Uh huh. What am I to do now, old master? The first part. The turtle, the plane at his tail, swims towards the mountain. To his right, the pagoda. To his left. The river. So you have to turn the colored pieces so that they like all they match that description. Like no mountain behind him, a mountain in front of him, a pagoda on the right, and a river on the left. Sense? How do you know which way the turtle is? I think it red goes. The turtle's facing in one direction. You might notice. In this incredibly low res. In this very low res. The turtle is facing a direction. So, that oh, set it up. Man. Would you mind explaining again what I'm supposed to... If I you mean, insist, at least you don't the turtle switch all of the uh, tail, pictures individually. I am ready to travel to the house of the tiger, old master. Now he, I hope you got the directions right, because this will be really annoying the otherwise. His journey. No, now I don't. you will take the turtle's place, Dr. Wei. Listen carefully. Facing in the direction indicated by the mountain, the turtle now leaves the lake and immediately finds himself at a crossroads. Tell me when you have reached that point and are ready to travel on to the house of the tiger. Warning, I messed this up because my what? stupid trackpad. <laughs> Would you mind explaining if you... The turtle, the... That's not what I wanted. I am ready to continue, old master. If you wish to abandon the journey at any time, please tell me. Otherwise, listen carefully. 
The turtle turns in the direction indicated by the pagoda and travels to the next crossroads. Turning to face in the direction shown by the plane, the turtle travels along the path to the next crossroads. One square south. Turn. And then I messed up by double click by accident. My trackpad's dumb, so I had to cancel and try again. So the turtle was not ready oh, come to on, man! You could have cut this out. Tell me when the four. Yeah. I'm ready to <laughs> take it. It's a minute. Now you're facing in the direction. Oh. I'm just impressed you managed to do this on the trackpad at all. The turtle. Okay. Turning Step. to face in the. Step south. Turning to face in the direction shown by the pagoda, the turtle walks the path to the next crossroads. The right, like Turning facing to face north. In the direction oh, indicated uh -huh. by the mountain, east. The turtle travels the path to the next crossroads. North mountain is north. Turning to face in the direction indicated by the river, oh, wow. the turtle journeys along this. the road to the next crossroads. This is agony. Turning to face <laughs> once more in the direction indicated by the mountain, the turtle journeys along the path. We soon will no longer have to deal with Gong's men. This is... Having at last ah. reached the house of the tiger, the turtle takes the shortest path to the house of the dragon. I did this by pure luck, by the way. I had no idea what the house of the dragon was, I just did this and it was completely right. Behold the dragon door. Ah. My work is at an end. Ha. The rest of the journey is yours to discover. All I did was walk oh. around along. Oh. Whoa. A door. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, so we're now in a, uh... Creepy dungeon This thing. is the other quarter of the monastery. Yeah... And I see that dragon, you have to look... You have to, like, read the colors from the tail towards... This... Red... Green... Blue... Yellow... Uh-huh. That, that you, that's how I know what order to light things in later. A chest within a chest, within a chest, within a chest. <laughs> Come it's on! Positively Russian. <laughs> okay, one. Now I see this is all I really need to like continue, but for some reason, when I tried to use the wand to light the stupid sparklers on the other side of the room, it doesn't work. So I get a little bit lost for a minute. Any particular reason it didn't work? No, it just didn't click the first time. Oh. Like, try light wand, doesn't light. Why no light? Sad face. <sighs> oh. That's cute. So a yeah. lizard on the water. Um, would you like a very confusing spoiler? Understand it when it happens, anyway. I'm sure. It, the the cute little lizard on the water is a shuttle. I was right. I don't understand it. That's the only good spoiler is the kind that you don't understand. <laughs> so we're wandering around. I am totally failing because I'm trying to look for like a source of lighting something. Uh -huh. And I got it in my freaking inventory, it just didn't work for some reason. Right. Don't worry. I'm very soon gonna figure this out. <laughs> After I wander across the room two more times. <laughs> Quick, pull out, uh, factoids. Yes, well, Cryo Interactive were, uh, formed. Oh, oh, oh! Sorry! <laughs> okay. It was red, yellow, blue, green. Yes. And I should figure that out, that out in a second. Or was it green, blue, yellow? Oh. Oh, what's going on now? Uh. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Remember how I said Tiny was foreshadowing? Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Oh! Ah! Yeah, I shook the camera on purpose. I like how the star's in here, too. Oh, that's cute. So, yeah, we are now inside this. <sighs> Something. Well, hmm. Now that we're in here, what are we looking to do? This is the annoying puzzle. Oh. Well, in that case, Cryo Interactive were formed by people who originally worked for a company called ERE Informatique, who were a subsidiary of Infogrames Entertainment. Uh, Infogrames sounds familiar. Yes, uh, Infogrames were a very large video game company uh, throughout the early eight, well, early mid late eighties, and throughout most of the nineties, they um, they well they uh, acquired a great many other companies throughout their time, but they are perhaps most known themselves for. Uh, Alone in the Dark, which was an old survival horror game. The old, original old survival horror yes. game. Yes. Popularly thought as one of the games that started the genre. Um, but Infogrames also acquired, in the early 2000s, uh, the video game portion of Hasbro Interactive. Yes, that Hasbro. Well then... <laughs> and acquiring Hasbro Interactive meant that they also acquired Microprose, who were originally responsible for games such as Civilization and Roller Coaster Tycoon. You heard it here, folks. Uh, Microprose, Civilization. So Civilization was acquired by Hasbro, and then are then acquired by the people who acquired the makers of this sucker, who who were splintered off into the makers of this sucker. Ah. So yes, so yes, we are, in fact, playing Sid Meier's Beyond Atlantis. Six degrees of Sid Meier's? <laughs> uh. Well, messed up. They're all supposed to be alive, but I put two of them in the wrong place. So this puzzle is going to go on. No, I, like, no, it's actually going to be interesting in a second. What is... What is the prompt for this puzzle? Well, you put the action figures down in the places that match them best. Like the water carrier by the river, right? So then you just kind of have to intuit it? Yeah, and then they come to life, because that's also intuitive. When yeah. Oh. Wow. Family. That layering, um, though. This is what I have for you. Uh, yeah, mm. You, you want to try that recording again with some audio equipment that doesn't sound like you're coming at us from, like, way across... I have something uh, for you, sir. But first, you ready have to be for everyone. I have it. Thank you, sir. And this is that face. Metal is that dormant. face, though. Wood later destroys it. Oh, no. It's okay, so what's happening is each one... Is giving you two hint. They're giving you a piece uh, that represents earth, air, fire, water, and metal. Or no, earth, wood, fire, water, and metal. And so the first hint they give you is for the first time you use it. The second hint later is for the second time you use it. And you have to put them in order according to what destroys what. But why is there? Why are their voices so? Oh. It's an action figure, not a real person. Show me the color. Uh, but they sound like those... Thank like... You. They sound like they were recorded in like the 40s or something. It engenders fire and is later eaten by metal. For example, that right there. Engenders fire and is eaten by metal. It's wood. Yeah. Because, you know, it, it burns easily, so it engenders fire, and then it's cut down by an axe. Eaten by yeah. metal. So therefore, it's like... Destroyed by fire, and then it's all, the second time we use it, it's destroyed by metal, so you have to put it in that order. So they did actually give you hints on how to solve this. However, it was a bit too difficult for me to like intuit 
while recording. So here I'm grabbing my piece of paper that I wrote down the answers on. But trust me, this is actually an okay puzzle if you have some time to like work it out and not yeah. like, actively I mean, recording like I am. They, I mean, they actually tell you what to do, so... It's still a bit of trial and error, because I think the second time you use it, you're supposed to put them in like backwards order. Oh, because you... <laughs> I was so disappointed the first time I did that, and it only came halfway down. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. So, so I noticed that you did not move the wood. The wood stays in the same place. So, like, yeah, the second time it's eaten by metal, so metal goes before it. And then, like, mm. wood bur destroys earth because it like, grows roots into it. Good chunk. So then the earth goes afterwards. That kind of thing. Yay! And now we have a bridge. Ah, the bridge. And we head into the middle section. And this just seems like such a lovely time to end the chapter. Yay! <laughs>